Hello and welcome. This is Rafi from Doric. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create directory listings using custom collection data on Doric. To do this, we're going to create a collection. So to start creating a collection, we have to go here on this collection step. Then we have to click on add new collection. It is going to show us a pop-up model here with few options. So the first option is collection type, which currently set to none. That means we can provide custom plural name, singular name and slug to start creating a collection from the scratch. But if you want, you can click here and you're going to find a few templates that you can choose any one of them based on your need to go from there, which is going to save you some time. So I'd have to select none as I want to go from scratch. Then I'm going to provide a plural name here. Let's say marketing agencies. And just take a look, automatically it taken the singular name for the collection and also the URL or the slug for the collection. Now. The editing layout, if you have to provide some descriptions for the collections, you can go with full editor. But if you got some limited options or information to provide, then you can go with sidebar editor as well. So I'd love to go with full editor. After that, we're going to click on add collection. And here we go. We got our collection created. Now, from this settings tab, you are going to find few options such as you can delete the collection, you can rename the collection and so on. Let's talk about the fields. If I click on fields, you're going to find few fields already been generated. The first one is the name for the items, URL from the items and the content for the items. Now you can add custom fields on your collections as well to provide additional information. So let me show you how you can add a custom field. I'm going to click on add new field button and then it is going to show us this pop-up model with the type to select and the label to give it a name. So now. Let's say I want to add the very first field for logo. Simply I have to click here on add new field. Then I have to select the type. So if I click here, it is going to show us few field types. As you can see text, rich text, image, link, number, select option. Then I got the email. So as I want to add logo, so I'm going to select image. Then I'd love to give it a level. Let's say logo. Then we have to click on add new field. And here we go. It has been added same way we can add more fields into this collection item. So I'm going to click on add new field. After that, I'm going to select the type. Let's say I want to add the website URL. So let's select link. Then I'm going to give it a name to website. Now, if you want to make this mandatory field, you have to simply check this. Let's click on add new field. So by following this process, I'd love to add few more fields and I'm going to come back. All right, so here I got some collection fields added. Now it's time to add a collection item. So let me take you to the collections page. And from here, we can click here on this plus sign, new, then the collection name. And just take a look, we got the editor where we can provide the item name or the company name. Then the description, we can add image videos and whatever we want by clicking here and the text fields. And then we got in the right sidebar, we got the fields that we added. For instance, the logo, website, thumbnail, starting budget, hourly rate, company size. And then we got some information for SEO settings. If you want, you can provide SEO settings from here for every collection items. So let me start providing information here on the first collection item. I'm going to get the company name here. Then I'm going to provide some description. And if we want, we can add images as well. So for instance, if you click here on this plus sign, then you're going to see image. Then you can choose the image that you want to upload here. So let's say this one as an example, it is going to be uploaded on the collection item description. Now let's go here on this right sidebar settings. After that, I'm going to upload the logo and automatically it taken the slug or the URL for the collection. Now it's time to upload the logo. So I'm going to click here. Let's say this one is my logo. Then we have to provide the website URL. Let me paste the information. And then we got the thumbnail image. So I'm going to upload. And let's say I would love to use this one as the thumbnail image. Then the starting budget. Let's say I'd love to provide the starting budget of $10,000 for any project. And then the hourly budget. They are charging from 50 US dollars to 150 US dollars per hour. And the company size, I can select it from let's say 11 to 50 and here we go. Now it's time to click on create and the item will be created and you can simply verify the information then click on publish. 
now our collection item is published if i take you to this collections page you can see we got one collection item added now by following this process i'm going to add few more collection items here then i'll come back all right so here i have added a few more collection items it's time to design the collection template to give it the specific look how we want our collection items to look like on the front end so let me take you to design and page after that it is going to take us to our website builder editor then we have to select the page option and under this templates page option you are going to notice the collection template simply select this and from here you can design how your collection items should look like so let's say i don't want this information i don't want this line i don't want this line and i'd love to delete this section entirely and after that i have to add a new section and go to custom section add section with regular columns then we're going to add an element so let's click on add element let's scroll a bit down we're going to find this rich text content element so let's select this and now we'll be able to see our collection item information on the web page all right now not only that we can customize or add some functionalities and option here on the names as well so for instance if i would i'd love to add a new column here and then i'm going to make it smaller let's say and to give it to 20 percent only so that in the right side I want to show my logo, website logo. So I'm going to select add CMS fields and the logo. Here we go. We have got the brand name here, brand logo here. Then we got the description about the website. And you can even add a sidebar here. So let me show you how. I'm going to make this column, let's click here to 66.67%. And after that, I'm going to add a new column. So let's click on add new column. After that, I'm going to select regular columns and then if I scroll a bit down, we're going to find the column here. Now I'm going to resize this column as well. So let's click here. After that, I'm going to select 33.33% and just take a look. We got this column added to the sidebar. Now we can populate this column with information. So let's say I want to put a heading here and I'm going to make it to H3 at a glance, just an example. Then let's say I want to provide some other information. I'm going to click here and let's take a nested row with columns. So I'm going to select this. And after that, I'm going to add here a text, which is this one. Let's say starting budget. Let's make it bolder. And in this field, I'd love to add, let's say the actual budget. So. I'm going to scroll a bit down, add text field, then delete, and I'd love to connect this with the CMS fields. So here is the starting budget, and here we go. Starting budget is this. Then I'm going to copy this column, duplicate simply. And after that, I'm going to provide some other information, let's say hourly rate. So I'm going to click here on edit element. Let's type out hourly rate. And then I'm going to connect this column, remove this with our hourly budget information just take a look right now if you want you can add the website url as well here so i'm going to take a new row let's click here and let's say i would love to add regular button and just take a look now i'd love to select visit website sorry i have to provide visit website and if i scroll a bit down we're going to find the button link option click here then from this link type it is currently set to link, the external link we have to click here then we're going to select cms item slug and we are going to select website so that it is going to take the visitors to the website of this business right now i'd love to give this column a margin value margin left of 30 pixel so that it will look nice on our page so if i cross this out let's click on publish and after that I'm going to take you to the home page of this website from design and page. And let's say I would love to add the directory listings right here after this hero section. How can we do this? The process is simple. I'm going to click here on add new section. After that from custom section, 
If you directly want to provide the CMS contents or the collection data without any heading, you can simply go with the CMS row with column. But what I'd love to do, I'd love to select a section with regular columns now to provide the title of this collection. So let's select, let's click on add element from heading. I'm to type out uh, marketing agencies and let's make it to or take it to the center. Here you go. Now what I'd love to do, I'd love to add a new row inside this section. So let's click here. After that, scroll a bit down, we're going to connect this CMS row with column. And I want two business information to be available on each row. So I'd love to click on this two column based row. Then it is going to show us this configuration tab from where we can connect the data source. So I'm going to click here, then custom collections. Then we have to select the collection that we created for this purpose, right? So let's close this out. And after that, we can populate data from the collection items to our web page on the front end. So let's do this. I'm going to add the title or the name of the companies here. So I'm going to type out heading and then I'm going to select the CMS field name. Just take a look, we are seeing the brand's name, right? Now I'd love to add the thumbnail image right here. So let's click here on this add new element. Let's select image. Then I'm going to select the data source, which is going to be the thumbnail. And just take a look, we are getting the brand name, thumbnail. Then if we want, we can add more information added for each of these listings. Now, as it is a CMS data and we are taking the data from one single collection. So whatever change we are making on one single collection item, it is going to take effect on the rest of the items, right? So on rest of the columns. So let me just add the website link here. So I'm going to type out, let's say regular button, then visit website. And I'm going to link this to the website URL. So let's say external to CMS item slug, add the website here. All right. And I'd love to give a margin here, margin top to this button. So let's say 20 pixels so that it will look nice. 20 pixel. Here we go. And we can take this button to center as well for all of these items. Just take a look how it is looking like, right? So now if I want, I can change the background color for one column, which is going to take effect on rest of the column. So let's select and let's keep this to this color just take a look right now we can give some padding values uh, as you can see already we got like padding values of, of 15 pixel top and bottom but on the left and right i'd love to give 15 pixels as well here we go it is going to look much better and now as you can see these columns are touching here with one another so i'd love to give some margin values on top and bottom so I'd love to provide margin top, um, let's say 10 pixel. And also on the bottom, I'd love to give 10 pixel. Just take a look, we are getting some spacings in between the columns. So by following these steps, you can design your page and whatever change you are going to make on one single column of this CMS row, it is going to take effect on rest of the columns, right? Now, if I click on publish, if I take you to this web page, you are going to notice we have got the details here. Now, one thing I missed, I wanted to make these headings clickable, these image clickable. So whenever someone will click on these image and titles, they should be able to read more information about the company. But if they want, they can click here on visit website, which is going to take them to the company's website. So let's do this. We are going to link these image and titles. So let's go back here. After that, I'm going to select this title, edit element. Let's scroll a bit down. We're going to find this title link option, select. Then from link type, it is currently set to external link. I'm going to change it to CMS item slug. After that, from URL, we're going to select slug or the link of this item. Same for this image, I'm going to click here. Let's scroll a bit down. We're going to find the image link URL, which is going to be link. Then from the link type, we're going to set it to CMS item slug and the URL is going to be the slug. Now cross this out. Let's click on publish. If I take you back here, reload this page. And now if I click here on this title, 
it is going to take us to the let's say the collection item page where you can find more information about the business right whatever you provided and as we customized the collection template we are seeing this beautiful layout but you can make it much better by spending some time so this is the process how you can create a listing using collection data on doric i believe you have found this video helpful but if you got any further question please feel free to ask us by commenting below thank you so much for being with doric